Is it time to buy or sell PayPal stock? In this video, we're diving deep into PayPal. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, June 16, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since June 15, 2023, our system has ranked PayPal as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0.00. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has experienced natural fluctuations, with a gain of 0.88%. This translates to an average return of 0.44% per day since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. A score of 0 indicates that our system anticipates high volatility and risk for the following trading day. Given the latest developments, we are unable to determine the stock's next direction, as it could go either way. The stock lies the upper part of a wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $68.42 will firstly indicate a slower falling rate, but may be the first sign of a trend shift. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 18.93% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 32.19% and minus 16.51%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 20.63% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 30.63% and 0.109%. This translates to a price range of $46.09 to $66.50 after a year. Our latest daily update for PayPal includes the headline, PayPal stock downgraded from buy candidate to hold slash accumulate after Friday trading session. The PayPal stock price gained 0.88% on the last trading day, Friday, June 16, 2023, rising from $65.85 to $66.43. It has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.94% from a day low at $65.22 to a day high of $67.14. The price has risen in 7 of the last 10 days and is up by 3.86% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 7 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 28 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.83 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $103.03, and the lowest price was $58.95. Currently, the price is 35.52%, or $36.60, below the 52-week high, and 78.58%, or $243.73, below the all-time high on July 26, 2021, when the price reached $310.16. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Monday, February 6, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 133. On Monday, February 6, 2023, Morgan Stanley set a price target of 133. On Tuesday, December 13, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 85. On Tuesday, December 13, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 85. On Tuesday, December 13, 2022, Piper Sandler set a price target of 85. Analysts have given PayPal stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating.
The following signals have been identified for PayPal. The PayPal stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock, but the stock has a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $64.41 and $65.17. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, May 25, 2023, and so far it has risen 11.89%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence by signal. Pivots by signal 16 days ago. Bollinger by signal 1 day ago. Short term moving average by signal 3 days ago. Long term moving average by signal 3 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 38 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see short moving average by signal 12 days ago. The long term moving average by signal 30 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages by signal 80 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for PayPal PayPal finds support from accumulated volume at $65.91 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $1.92 between high and low, or 2.94%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.1%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for PayPal, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A high PE ratio could mean that the stock is overvalued or that investors expect high growth rates in the future. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on July 31, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.16. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for PayPal. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for PayPal is at $72.99. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, PayPal encounters its first support level at $65.91. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for PayPal from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Shaib Gabriel, who bought and sold 2,110 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 38.602. Overall, insiders purchased 1,100,899 shares and sold 481,487 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $63.65, minus 4.19%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. The RSI 14 is 81 and this increases the risk substantially. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 15 days ago. Is PayPal stock a good buy? PayPal holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. 
At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, June 20th, we expect PayPal to open down $0.167 and start trading at $66.26. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.